join me in Saudi for the 2023 Dakar Rally. I'm out here with Audi UK and I'm currently standing on the final stage. The bikes that are racing past us behind us have been on the road or on the sand for the past 5,000 miles and two weeks. But thankfully, they've only got a couple of hours left until they cross the finish line. It's been an epic couple of days out here. Yesterday, we actually went to watch some of the classic Dakar, so some of the hero bikes, cars, trucks of the past. But today, it's all about the here and now and the actual main event. Audi entered three e-trons into the race with top flight drivers like Carlos Sainz and Matthias Ekstrom. But unfortunately, there's only one car remaining and that's Ekstrom's. With an insane endurance event like Dakar, you need three elements really. You need talent, you need reliability, and you need lots of luck. And unfortunately for Audi, well, two of their cars ran out of luck, but that's just the nature of this sport, the nature of this race. Yesterday, I had a chance to get behind the wheel of a lightly modified Q5 Sportback and take it around some sand dunes. So let's cut to that, and then you can join me back here as the cars and the trucks come past. We're in the Q5 Sportback now, which yep. is kitted out with a cage and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm joined with uh, Isabel. Hi. You're an ex uh, Dakar driver, you've raced it. Or you still race? No, no, no. I stopped in, uh, in 2014. Okay. And uh, before I did 11 Dakar. So 11. in, uh, yeah, in, uh, in uh, Africa and in South America. So uh, just be careful because uh, it was raining all the night. Yes. So it's very greasy. Okay. And you, uh, you know, on the truck, it's, uh, you know, we did many loops. So yes. it's, uh, you have, uh, you know, big truck. So uh, if you uh, see too much truck, you can go right or left. Okay. We, uh, you see, for example, here. Yeah. You, you go straight and yeah. then turn. Okay, so a bit wider. Yeah. Okay. And then you, uh, you have to put gas to have yeah. a dynamic on the car. Okay. Momentum, I suppose, is it yeah, important? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You follow the car. Yeah. With a... Maybe ah. your door is not closed. Ah. With a, just a few meters of security. Just be careful the car is, uh, is oh, down. Oh, it's a bit low. You know, yeah. It's uh, low. But sometimes you need, uh, you know, to uh, to put gas because uh, if you don't have enough speed, yep. uh, we are stuck. Yes, okay. So it's uh, the balance. <laughs> And this is a fairly standard car, these are, yeah, right? They've got yeah, a cage yeah. in them? Uh, Rock cage, and yeah. they change the tyre, yeah. they keep the same suspension, wow. so it's a quite a standard car. Yeah? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, yeah, in... Yeah, uh, well, we can drive. Yeah. But in, in the UK, in London or in Paris, yeah. people have a Q5 and, yeah. they, and it stays in the city, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it can do this, it's, yeah. it's unreal. It's really unreal. The first time we drive with the Audi, we said, oh, we can't go there. Yeah. And you know, you just push. <laughs> yes, okay. and, it, and it goes. It's okay. And yeah. it's so, uh, yeah, it's quite easy to drive because yeah. they have uh, 280 horsepower. Wow. So, uh, you, uh, you, li you really have power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here you put gas. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And put your wheel here. Yeah. And you go. <laughs> oh, you go sideways. Yeah. Uh, is all the traction off? The traction control yeah, is the, off, yes. Are, so the traction is in front wheel. Yes. And when uh, it starts to walk too yep. much, the, the rear wheel okay. help again. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend in front, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a driver? Yeah, we do yeah. a lot of track day uh, yeah. stuff together. So we're good friends. I think it goes left. We go in, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you can. Oh, it's going to go inside. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. no problem. And here you put gas, yep. so you can turn the. Oh, turn. I'm yeah. trying, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to put gas and okay. then, the, and then the, turn. The, the car can turn the. Okay. I can't believe this is standard. Ah, ah I see, yeah. okay, I yeah, see, yeah, I yeah. see what you mean there. Because okay. if you don't put gas, you know yeah. you're like this. Of course. And we can't turn. If you have a little bit more dynamic, yeah. Yeah. it will be very Because the front easier. wheels pull you yeah, as well, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I understand now. Ah, okay. You have ah, to yes. test. Have yes. To test. Oh, uh-oh. It's okay? Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> yeah. 
you're like, yes, yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing. <laughs> then we do go in the canyon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> I can't believe this is basically a standard chassis yeah. and standard yeah, yeah, suspension. Yeah, yeah. Standard chassis. Yeah. yeah. I was doing ice driving maybe two ah. weeks ago, and it's it's very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. the traction is very low, and you always have to uh, to have the feeling, you know, with your ass. Yes, yes, and, yes. Uh, yep. And the body the with the uh, acceleration and the yep. wheel. Yes. And with all of that, you uh, you have to to feel the car. It's much better now. You've turned the traction off. Ooh. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It pulls yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. 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 Before there was nothing. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good car. I, yeah. It was amazing the first time I said, well, where are we going with this yeah. car? And uh, no, no, it's okay. You can go yeah. there. And we, uh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a red uh, Jeep Wrangler, yep. go B left. Between that. Just yeah. follow the, Excellent. <laughs> your friend. Fantastic. Yeah, it's great, huh? Yeah, very cool. <laughs> did yeah. you when before we finish when did you start driving oh come on where there we go. Uh, uh, when no what like what age did you start driving uh, i and started i was uh, something like uh, 32 or 33 okay and i tried to uh, to drive put gas so yep. we will be stuck just yep. in front of us <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, I uh, I drive first in uh, in circuit. Yes. But in uh, in asf in uh, not asphalt. Um, uh, gravel. Gravel. Oh, okay. And uh, so rallying, but yeah, in gravel. Yeah. yeah. Yep. In gravel. And then uh, I start to go in uh, in rally ride in Tunisian rally and yes. uh, Moroccan rally and then Dakar. Okay, you fell in love with the deserts yeah. and, the, and the sand. And, and yes, for the you know the all the ambience. Yes, it's, of course. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you so much, it's been Thank lovely. You. Thank you, Thank you. Um, you've been very helpful. I've come to a really cool spot, very close to the action here. But this is a good example of someone who's trying to get to the end in one piece, is happy with their race and their position. Right, and here's a factory rider, absolutely flat chat. <laughs> absolutely nuts. I mean, the difference in speed. That's ridiculous. How's it going? What's your uh, what's your highlight today or so far? Oh man, it's just just being here. To be fair, last night at the bivouac, walking around, obviously with Audi, and got really close to the car, met a lot of the team, talked about the technology in it. But then just walking around and seeing all the teams of all different sizes, it's immense. And and then to be here, and we haven't seen any cars come through yet, but the bikes. Some of the guys on bikes, the ones that I find, the, the unsupported ones, so they do the whole Dakar, the only person that can touch the bike is the rider. So they come into service after a day of probably 10 hours riding the bike, then they have to fix their bike before they can get some sleep. It's amazing. And then you just look, it's just, it's just wicked. I think it's the anticipation as well. We can hear helicopters in the distance and we know that there's, there's the cars on the way and that's the really fast cars I'm looking forward to seeing, but it's wicked. <laughs> have started coming through. Unfortunately, I failed to talk when the Audi came through because it was going so fast. A bit like this Toyota. Oh! Wow, I just can't tell you. The adrenaline rush after that. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Now we're joined by uh, a wild Harry Metcalf, who is actually our spotter. Uh, he's giving us loads of advance warning on any traffic coming. It's 
got his binoculars out, yeah. looking way into the distance. Harry, have you got any updates for us? Two buggies coming. Two buggies, so thank you. Tell you. Thank you very much. They're not my specialist subject, buggies. <laughs> <laughs> to excuse the fact that I'm out of breath. We walked over to have lunch and just as we got back we could hear the trucks in the distance so we've sprinted down here. Look at these! Wow! Oh, oh. What? Oh my goodness gracious me! Wow. Okay, spectacle level has just gone up again. I have got my good friend Petroped here and I thought it would be a good time to run through the underpinnings of the Audi RSQ e-tron. Roll, rolls off the tongue mate. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> There's so many combinations and they keep changing I'm sure. The name's about as complicated as the drivetrain to be honest. It's, a, it's an electric car so it's got uh, front and rear axle have, has its own motor, a sure. Formula E motor. I think they're about 270 horsepower per motor. Okay. And then just behind the driver's compartment is a 52 kilowatt hour battery pack. So it's yep. not a massive battery, but it runs as a full battery electric vehicle. Yep. But then if it just did that, it would probably run about like 10 miles and then run out of battery. Yeah. So it's then got, and this is the cool bit, a DTM engine. So a two litre TFSI DTM engine um, running. Again, that's just behind, it's like mid mounted. And that is just there to generate power into the battery. It's just a generator. Wow. And that's like 390 horsepower. -ish. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's what we hear. I did a clip of it a bit earlier on. Yeah. You hear that sort of revving at what, six, seven thousand? Yeah, it's just a constant rev. And, yep. it, and it comes, it's not controlled by the drivers at all, apparently. So what the, the car has systems that when the battery depletes to a certain level, the engine kicks in and it, wow. it charges. And the really cool thing is it charges at around 200 kilowatts. So okay. if you think about like a really rapid charge you plug your electric car into. It's like Ionity or yeah, something. Yeah, it's like faster than one of them. You know, wow. 200 kilowatts. And the cool thing is the battery, and this is the bit I found interesting talking to the guys um, in the garage, is the battery can be depleted and charged at the same time. Yeah. Which a normal, pet, a normal electric car can't because you plugged in stationary. Of course. Something else that actually I asked, we had a technical briefing yesterday, uh, and I asked a question about so compared to, let's say, the Toyota, which is probably their biggest rival, their car uses roughly 500, or has, is allowed to use up to 500 litres yep. of fuel, traditional fuel, a day, whereas uh, the e-tron is re regulated to 350, About is it? That, yeah, yeah. 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 So it does actually use less fossil fuels. The, the, the big question you might ask then is why? If it's yep. got a petrol engine in it, anyway yep. why wouldn't you do it like a normal hybrid where the because the petrol engine doesn't drive the wheels at all yeah there's no link between that and the drivetrain and the reason is because they want that the instant torque yep um for for the desert driving it makes it a much more easy or, or more tractable car sure so you get instant torque and it's only got one gear so yep. you don't have the you know, if you get it stuck in sand or you get on a on a, an incline, you don't have to change in gears. You've yep. just got the one gear, and wow. that the, the the drivers apparently, you know, that's the Love that's it. the the characteristic they really like. Yeah. The bit that's weird, apparently, is when you're driving it, all you hear is the engine. Yep. And you've got no input into the engines. Because it's sitting like at a constant yeah. RPM. Yeah. So yeah. you come into a corner, normally yeah. you'd hear the engine change revs, and it's yeah. like, and yeah. it went past. Yeah. So today, even on the braking zone, it yeah. was still going. We thought it was a normal car. It was coming, and and it just came past, and it's really, really loud. Yeah. Yeah. Really loud. Very cool. Normal, right? um, last thing to talk about, I think, is the weight as well, because I found that fascinating. Thinking it would be a lot heavier than, again, compared to its rivals like the Toyota. Toyota's capped at two tons, this one's 2.1, which yeah. when you consider all of the stuff that's in there, 
I think it's really impressive. I, I thought it was going to be three, four hundred kilos heavier. And it's, it's, it's 80 kilos lighter than last year's car. Wow, that's yeah. and that's just development, isn't it? So, so yeah, let's let's see what next year's car yeah. comes out. Of. But um, thanks a lot for that, mate. I really appreciate the uh, yeah the knowledge, and um, it's been awesome out here. Make sure you do check out Petrol Ped's video because it will probably be a lot better than mine. Um, <laughs> We've had such a good day today, just just making sure we didn't get run over and get killed by trucks and bikes and stuff We did, like that. and we tried our best to get killed by them all, but um, <laughs> that's all part of the fun. So, uh, yeah, yeah. mate, thank you very much, you, and uh, I'll see you again very yeah, soon. Yeah, Cheers. Right then guys, you join me at the finish of the Dakar Rally 2023. Just behind me, all of the bikes, the quad bikes, the cars, various classes, and the trucks are all parked up. Looks like they've got half the desert still attached to them because this morning it was very wet and it stuck to all the vehicles and they've dragged it across all the stage to here. It's been an absolutely awesome, awesome day. Uh, all of the action, all of the categories, all of the cars and the bikes, it was just such a spectacle. Spent most of the day with my good friend Petrol Ped and we were both literally so giddy and just enjoying and taking in all the atmosphere. We've just seen uh, the remaining Audi e-tron uh, roll up on the podium with all of the team Audi there to sort of celebrate the fact that it's made it to the end. It's not the result that they wanted, um, but Matthias actually managed to get P2 on today's stage, so very, very impressive. And once again, shows us that that Audi was capable of at least getting on the podium overall, maybe taking the win. So fingers crossed for next year. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you at another video very soon.